Hey everyone, so the 1.9 version has finally dropped for our server and this version has been out for all the other foreign servers for like a week or so and I've been pretty much waiting for this to finally drop into our server and that's because there's a lot of really good features being added to our game. So let's just go ahead and start and talk about them. So one of the biggest features that's going to be added is a feature that's already in the JP version of the game which is the music video outfit fitting room. And to access it, you just need to press the menu. It'll be right here in the middle right. And once you press it, you'll be entering the fitting room. This is just such a cool feature added to the game. You can basically pick an idol and look at the outfits that you already own. So for example, let's go with Subadu and let's do his limited costume. And then you can just go around. They'll say some cute stuff while you're looking. And they'll, you can just do a 360 view of their outfit. And you can zoom in as well to look at the really cool intricate details in it and it's just such a fun feature added to the game it's just you can just look at their outfits and see how designed they are and how many like how intricate it is and the good thing about our server is that we like for example the super i just had they're limited outfits that are not in jp so we can even look at those and then like one of my other li favorite limiteds which is izumi's like you can see the whole details like look at it, look at all the details, like it's insane. Look at the game, it's so cool. It's just, it is such a fun feature. I'm really, I'm finally glad we get it in our server. Okay, and the second feature being added to the game is the loop system for lives. Uh, first thing to say about this is that this is only available if you bought the VIP 2 pack. If you don't, unfortunately, you will not have access to this feature. But for this feature, basically, you can now automate your lives so you don't have to basically touch it. You don't have to give it any like second thought. You just keep like rolling. And the way it works is that you set the BP, or, like usually, and then you go to the loop setting. And then there are two modes. There's going to be use up all BP, which is it's just going to use the BP in your current BP gauge or you can set it to a specific amount where you can do like one two three four it'll tell you what you're going to use like you're gonna use 5 BP and 35 whistles and what kind of whistles you're going to use as well and it also uses your megaphones as well which is really really nice and then it's also going to be auto doubling so automate the double rewards every time you finish a live you can put on this part of the system to prevent your paid times from being used and then once you're done all you need to do is press start and then it'll just go ahead and start and just you don't have to touch it until it's done okay and for the third one is going to be the loop system for the office work and this feature is going to be available for everyone I, this one's really nice because i think idle work is one of the most annoying things to do in the game because you need to just consistently just be tapping the screen like it's just you have to keep your eye on it and it's just so annoying to go through all of your tickets especially if you have vip one where for me, like my max tickets are 18, so I have to go through 18 tickets usually every time I do this. And the way this works is you go press loop right here, and then all you need to do is just put how much work you want to clear, how much BP you want to use, and that's it. You can also use your work tickets with it to make it even faster, and you just, all you need to do is just press it here just to turn it on and off. And then lastly, there is going to be an update to Ensemble Start. I don't really know what it gives because I am not a returning player and I play this game pretty like every day, much every day. But from what I saw, it's going to be I think a new UI update to it, and it's going to give out I think more rewards. So if you're returning to the game after the update, this is a good opportunity to get a lot of rewards. Okay, and that's it for the new 1.19 version. And I'm just excited for just a lot of the stuff. The MV outfit fitting room is just such a really cool concept and feature added to this game. Just looking at all the really cool details of outfits. And I know a lot of people really have been waiting for it since the JP version. And I'm just glad that everyone, including me, we all get the chance to use it now in our server. Like, it really makes you see the intricate details of costumes and stuff like that. Like, for example, I didn't like some costumes just looking at the card itself. And one example of that would be Rene's FF. I didn't really particularly like it. And it wasn't until I saw him in like an MV to like be like, oh, I actually really like this outfit. And then I looked, went back and looked at it in the music video outfit room. And it was like, wow, this outfit's just really, really cool. It's like one of my favorite reading outfits. And there are just some really small things that you miss. Like if you see, look at Ray's outfit right here for his limited. 
you see his shoes like he's wearing like heels and that's like pretty cool and then like going back to Izumi's outfit he's also wearing heels which I didn't even know about this until like last night when I was just looking at all the costumes it's just really nice seeing all those really small details and just being able to appreciate the outfit more and then for the loop lives being added to the game I'm really excited for that because now I can pretty much just not have to pay attention to my game anymore and just let it continuously auto and then I can just do other stuff and multitask with it and then with the work system, I'm just glad that I don't have to consistently just tap the button on the screen anymore. Because like I said earlier, I think it was probably the most annoying part of the game. <laughs> just consistently just tapping the same button over and over and over again for like 5 to 10 minutes. It was just so annoying. Now I'm glad we don't have to do it anymore. Okay, but that's it for the video. I really hope that everyone enjoys all the features being added. And I hope everyone has a lot of fun just with the music video outfit room as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to put in the comments below. And I'll try to get to them. So hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you all next time. So peace.